Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Heisman Talk, your number one source of college football news on YouTube. I'm Nate Dog here with my co host, Devin Air D. Jackson, to break down week seven of our game day pickums. D, it's good to have you back. We're ready to, to film another episode. You're in Athens, Georgia, for our game of the week, which we'll get to later in this episode. But for now, D, we kick it off out west where the number 12 Oklahoma State Cowboys go on the road to Austin, Texas to take on the number 25 Texas Longhorns. This is a 12 o'clock kickoff on Fox. Texas currently favored by five points. D, who do you have winning this Big 12 shootout? Man, uh, as you know, you know, Oklahoma State, uh, is the higher ranked team. You know, they have been playing very, very good football. Um, but man, I'm going to Texas. Um, the big Ooh. question for, yeah, man, the big question for me is can Oklahoma state's defense, which, you know, they're a pretty good defense, you know, can they stop Casey Thompson and, or, or at least slow down Casey Thompson and B. John Robinson? Cause they've been playing really, really well. Uh, Oklahoma's defense isn't that good, but they still went in there in the, the red river rivalry and put up points. Um, you know, I think they're going to be able to put up points on the Oklahoma State defense, even though I do think they're way better than the Oklahoma defense. But, um, you know, Texas defense is going to have to show up to play. If they don't show up to play, Spencer Sanders is going to be, you know, how he's been the past few weeks, and he's going to, you know, do whatever he wants to that defense. So if Texas's defense shows up, I think Texas can win this game. So I'm going to pick Texas. D, when I think of the Longhorns, I think of the three-headed monster, Casey Thompson, B. John Robinson, and Xavier Worthy. Those three players have been huge, huge for this year. We haven't had many, um, you know, big guys on defense um, step up to the plate. So look for Texas to really rely on their run game with B. John Robinson uh, and play action as well with, with Casey Thompson and Xavier Worthy. Um, but like you mentioned, you know, Oklahoma State has been playing pretty well um, themselves. Uh, they've really relied on the run game under uh, Jalen Warren, who's put up some big numbers this year as well. I think this is going to be a classic Big 12 shootout, but I think in the end, I'm going to take the Texas Longhorns. I, I, I agree with you. I think Casey Thompson is going to have a monster day, and I think this is one of those games where the Texas defense does step up to the plate. I'm not saying they're going to hold them to – seven 14 points but i think they can hold them off enough to where uh they can they can outscore uh the, the cowboys so give me the longhorns in this one so d then we head to another 12 o'clock kickoff in the sec auburn at number 17 ranked arkansas the arkansas razorbacks uh this one's on cbs arkansas currently favored by three and a half d who do you have one in this one uh you know, you had all you have Auburn coming off the loss to Georgia and Arkansas coming off the loss to Ole Miss. Um, you know, I'm gonna take Arkansas in this game, man. Uh, big re- yeah, big reason why. I mean, Auburn's defense is it's pretty tough. They have a good defense. Um, you know, will they be able to stop, you know, KJ Jefferson, Traylon Wade? Um, you know, I mean sorry, Traylon Burks. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. I don't I don't think Bo Nix will play well enough against the Arkansas defense. Um, you know, I don't think the offensive line is going to be able to, to protect um, Bo Nix enough. You know, he can make some magic happen. Um, you know, he didn't make it happen against Georgia, but I'm going to take, you know, Arkansas. I think K.J. Jefferson uh, is going to show up, and I think Arkansas's defense is going to show up. So That's a great pick, D. You know, K.J. Jefferson, like you mentioned, has had a monster year for the Razorbacks, a year that we never expected for, the, for Arkansas to have. Um, and Bo Nix on the other side, not impressive. I mean, he like like you said, he made a few plays against LSU with his feet. Um, didn't do so against Georgia. I think the Razorbacks' defense is much better than LSU's. Uh, I don't look for him to have much success unless a running back like Tank's big Tank Bigsby for the Auburn Tigers. They're going to really rely on him in this game, but. I just don't think it's going to be enough. I think Sam Pittman has his team ready to get back on track. Give me the Razorbacks in this one to cover the spread as well. Uh, so then, D, we head to a out west where Fresno State goes on the road to take the Wyoming take on the Wyoming Cowboys. Uh, this is another Group of Five game, D, that will continue uh, on throughout the season. Three thirty kickoff on Fox Sports Two. 
Fresno State currently favored by three and a half. D, who wins this Mountain West showdown? And like you said, uh, Fresno State is, is favored by, you know, three and a half points. Uh, and I'm going to pick them, man. I'm going to pick the favorite. Uh, you know, we, we uh, picked the Wyoming Air Force game last, uh, <laughs> last week. And, you know, Sean Chambers, the quarterback for Wyoming, didn't have a very good game at all. Um, you know, I think Jake Hayner is a better quarterback, uh, the Fresno State quarterback. I think he's going to come out and play well. And, you know, I, I think that the, the, Bull, the Fresno State Bulldogs get the win. D, this is going to be a close matchup. I think Wyoming's going to come out and play. Um, I think they're going to put up some pretty big numbers. Uh, but on the other side, you got a guy like Jalen Cooper for the Bulldogs of Fresno State. He's their leading re wide receiver. He's got nine touchdowns so far uh, this season. And Wyoming, mm, I think they're going to struggle on defense. I'm taking the Bulldogs of Fresno State as well in this game. I think Jake, Jake Hayner... Uh, already putting up over 2,000 yards passing on the season. I think he'll look to continue that success in this game. Give me Fresno State. So the, then we go uh, to the Big 12 and the Mountain West, uh, uh, um, or excuse me, Big 12 and, and non-conference BYU. Um, BYU currently ranked number 19, goes on the road to take on the Baylor Bears. There's a 330 kickoff on ESPN. Baylor currently favored by six and a half. BYU has played impressive this season. They fumbled last week with a loss against Boise State. Do you, who wins this one? Man, uh, this is this is a really really intriguing matchup and a tough one to pick. Man, you got you know quarterback of BYU and Jaron Hall, very talented quarterback. You know you have a, a good quarterback in Gary Bohannon. Um, you know so they're going against each other. I think, uh, I think defense wins this game, man. Baylor has a very, very good defense. Uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to pick uh, Baylor for that defense. You know, I just, I just don't think Jaron Hall will be able to do the things he's been able to do. I know he was coming back from injury last week, but you know, I think that, um, you know, Gary Bohannon and I think that the, the head coach Dave Aranda will have that defense ready to play against Jaron Hall. So give me the Baylor bears. D, that's a great pick. You know, early on in the season, we really saw BYU have success under Jaron Hall. Unfortunately, he struggled with a few injuries um, in the past couple weeks that's really been lingering. Uh, he's been in and out of the game. They've really relied on their run game, which has proven uh, with Tyler Algier. We named him our Heisman of the Week last week. Uh, he's currently got 642 yards rushing and eight touchdowns this season. So he's, he's done great for, for the BYU Cougars. Um, but like you said, the, the Baylor Bears have been playing lights out on offense uh, thus far. They're averaging 461.7 yards per game on offense. Um, I think Gary Bohannon is going to continue that success. Struggled a little bit against the Cowboys of Oklahoma State, but I think Baylor Bears get back on track in this one. Uh, give, me, give me Baylor. Give me Baylor to win this one. So then we head back to the SEC. Uh, where the number 13th ranked Ole Miss Rebels go on the road to Knoxville in a hostile environment to take on the Tennessee Volunteers. This is a 7.30 kickoff on SEC Network. Mississippi, only Ole Miss, only favored by two and a half in this game, which is surprising a lot of people. But the Tennessee Volunteers have played really great football thus far, and they found a quarterback in Hendon Hooker. D, who wins this close one? Yeah, Nate, like you said, man, uh, two and a half point spread, uh, which means Vegas kind of sees it as a toss up kind of um, very, very tough to go in there, uh, you know, in Neyland Stadium and, and play, man, that crowd is going to be going crazy. You know, Tennessee's playing very, very good football right now. Like you said, Hendon Hooker's playing very, very good football. Uh, so give me Tennessee, man. Give me Tennessee to, yeah, to, to pull the, the, the upset. Um, you know, I just – I think that they're the more balanced team. I think Ole Miss is definitely – I think Ole Miss has an elite offense, man. They're able to put up points in bunches. Um, but, you know, I think Tennessee is the more balanced team. I think with Hendon Hooker and and um, uh, Tyon Evans, uh, you know, I think that they're going to be able to, you know, um, control the game on the ground and be able to pass when they need to because Ole Miss's defense isn't – um, you know, I just I, I don't believe in Ole Miss's defense, so definitely give me Tennessee to pull off the upset at home. 
Not so fast, D. This will be the first right. game we disagree on. <laughs> Let me tell you what, though. Tennessee has really impressed some people this year. Um, and they found a quarterback in Hendon Hooker, like I mentioned. 13 touchdowns, one interception on the year. But there's a quarterback on the other side who's played just a slight better. 11 touchdowns, zero interceptions. Matt Corral is on a Heisman tour right now. I do believe that um, Arkansas last week gave the Ole Miss Rebels some trouble on defense, but I think they had a much better offense than the Tennessee Volunteers. I'm taking Ole Miss in this one. I do believe they will cover as well. Give me the Rebels. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, man. Tennessee. (laughs) We shall see, D. We shall see. So moving right along to uh, the East Coast, an ACC matchup. Um, And some might say, D, this could um, decide who ends up in the ACC championship. Number 22, NC State, goes on the road to take on the Boston College Eagles. Um, NC State ranked Boston College still with a great record at 4-1. They're only lost to Clemson. This is a 7.30 kickoff on ACC Network. NC State currently favored by three points. D, who do you have winning this close ACC matchup? Man, I think this matchup uh, is is offense versus defense. I think NC State has the better defense. I think Boston College has the better offense. I think, um, you know, I, I'm going to pick NC State. It's a very, very tough matchup to pick, uh, but I'm going to pick NC State because of that defense, man. I think they're going to be able to go in into Boston College and be able to slow down uh, their offense. And so for that reason, I'm, I'm picking NC State. D, this is a tough matchup. NC State currently uh, given a 55% chance to win, according to ESPN.com. Um, you know, both of these teams have played pretty impressive football. Like I said, Boston College's only loss is to Clemson last week, although NC State beat Clemson in double overtime. So, I mean, this is literally a coin flip game. Um, but I do agree with you. Uh, NC State has the better defense and, in my opinion, the better offense as well. Uh, When you look at a guy like Devin Leary at quarterback for NC State for the Wolfpack, this guy's thrown 12 TDs and only two interceptions. Um, He's played almost perfect football for them. Um, On the other side, Boston College quarterback, four interceptions, four touchdowns. Hasn't played that well. They've really relied on Pat Garwo, the third, um, who has five touchdowns on the ground and 469 yards. I'm taking the Wolfpack in this game. I think they're going to continue on that road to the ACC championship game. So, D, then we arrive at our game of the week. I've got the helmets behind me. Number 11, Kentucky, goes on the road to Athens, Georgia, to face the number one Georgia Bulldogs. And, man, does it sound weird saying that. The number one Georgia Bulldogs D, you're there in Athens. You've seen the atmosphere over the past few weeks. Those fans are ready. They're hyped as always. And even though this is a 3.30 kickoff on CBS, that Georgia team will most likely be ready to play. When you're looking at a top 15 matchup, you would think, oh, maybe this is going to be a close game. Maybe Vegas thinks this is going to be a 3-7 to seven to 10-point spread. But D, the Georgia Bulldogs have been outstanding this season. And they are currently favored by 23 points against the number 11 Kentucky Wildcats. D, is this game even close? Who do you have winning this game? And what's it like in Athens right now? (laughs) It's great in Athens, man. It's always great in Athens. Uh, You know, Sanford Stadium would definitely be rocking, you know, this Saturday with 93,000. You know, I'm going to pick Georgia in this game. I don't think that's a surprise. But uh, I do think that Kentucky is a good football team. They have a good defense. You know, they have good offensive weapons. And, and, and Chris Rodriguez at running back and, and uh, Wandale Robinson at receiver. Um, but Georgia is just going to be too much, man. Georgia has an elite offense. I mean, uh, my bad, an elite defense. Um, and, you know, when you have a, a defense like that and, you know, Kentucky has been winning the game, winning games, you know, through the ground, run the football. You know, they did it last week to LSU. They ran the football extremely well. But they're not going to be able to really run the football against that Georgia front seven, man. It's stout. It's stout, and it's like a brick wall. And so I don't think they're going to be able to run the football. 
And so I, I, I'm taking Georgia, and I, I don't think that uh, Will Levins, the quarterback of Kentucky, can beat Georgia through the air. He just hasn't shown it all year. And so, um, yeah, give me Georgia to, to win the game at home. D, at the beginning of the year, I picked Kentucky to be number two in the SEC East. Well, here we are this Saturday, 3.30 kickoff. Who will win the SEC East? Like you mentioned, wide receiver one Dale Robinson has played great for the Kentucky Wildcats. He's one of the top four wide receivers in the nation. But Georgia's got a top four wide receiver as well and true freshman Lad McCornkey, who we mentioned yesterday in our Heisman uh, Player of the Week. D, you know, JT Daniels went down. We didn't know who Stetson Bennett was going to be this year. He struggled last year. But he's really stepped up in this Georgia offense, and he's had help in the run game. The Georgia run game has stepped up as well. And when you got guys like Lad McCornkey and tight end Brock Bowers, who has 20 receptions, 315 yards, and four touchdowns, might I mention both of these guys at the wide receiver and tight end position are true freshmen. Um, and then... Not to mention the junkyard dogs on defense have only allowed two touchdowns in six weeks so far. Give me the dogs in this one, D. I don't even think it's going to be close. I think Georgia covers the spread. Props to Kentucky, but we've just seen way too much from the Georgia Bulldogs to not pick them. I think the dogs run away with this one, but I still think that my prediction's right. Kentucky will finish number two in the East. But D, that's a wrap for today. When we come back next week, we'll discuss our week seven Heismans of the week and we'll move on to our week eight game day pickums. We've got some great matchups coming up in the month of October that you will not want to miss out on. I can promise you. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, subscribe button down below so you can become part of the Heisman Talk family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends. Make sure that bell notification is turned on so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. And most importantly, make sure you comment your score predictions down below. If you guess any of the games right, we will send you a free Heisman Talk shirt. That's right. We're coming out with Heisman Talk merchandise in the near, near future. So be looking out. We've got a lot to look forward to. College football is here, and it's here to stay. As always, this is Nate Dog and D. Signing off.